Welcome to TouchEdit's tutorial series. TouchEdit uses a source and record film strip to edit its video and eight tracks of audio. The first time you load a video clip into the page, it will draw that clip's film strip. The pictures you see in the film strips correspond to the video in the source and record monitors. Notice that when you touch the source film strip or monitor, the source becomes the active side. The same is true for the record side. The center line is the picture head, meaning that the frame you're parked in is what you'll see on the monitor. Each film frame actually contains eight frames of video, which you can slowly scroll through. On the left of the film strip are the track selector buttons. These we will cover in the basic editing tutorial. On the hood of each monitor is the clip name and time code readout. Double tapping the top of the hood on the record side performs the parent gesture, which loads the exact frame that is in the record monitor into the source monitor. Double tapping the hood on the source side opens the collection in the media page where the footage is stored. Below the film strips is the visual timeline. On the right side of the timeline is a readout that tells you the duration of the clip or sequence of whatever is the active side. The buttons on the bottom of our screen also work with the active side. In the center is the play pause. You can also do play pause by double tapping on the center of either the source or record monitor. On either side of the play pause button are the next and previous edit buttons. These let you navigate quickly to the next or previous edit point. On the bottom right side is the add edit button. Just tap it to add a cut to your film strip. If you wish to get rid of your add edits, just tap and long hold on the add edit button. On the far left is the grease pencil, which is used to set the in and out marks. Check out our tutorial on grease pencil to learn more about it.